Hi, so in this tutorial we are going to look at the NRF uh, SDK's directory structure and uh, we will be uh, seeing how they have uh, structured all the directories and uh, how to create a new project in the SDK and uh, let's let's get started. So first of all go to Google and uh, search for NRF SDK and uh, go to the Nordic Semiconductors website and uh, here you can see they, they have this SDK make sure you select the NRF 16.0.0 uh, .0. and uh, you don't need to select the soft devices we will just need to download this uh, NRF SDK so just click on the download button and uh, wait for the download to finish so once the download is finished we go to the downloads and uh, we copy this to I would recommend uh, the following way because uh, there are so many directories inside uh, this SDK so sometimes it might cause uh, compilation errors so to dodge these errors uh, I recommend you should copy and uh, go into the C directory and create a new folder here with the name nrf underscore sdk and paste the sdk here and then extract it here so once the extraction finishes we have we can see some of the components okay so if you have uh, if you are using IAR or Kyle uh, 4 you can install this uh, but uh, we don't need uh, for Sakura Embedded Studio we don't need this and uh, let's see the directory structure so once we extract the files we see this uh, these directories so what's in these directories basically let's see the first directory is the components directory and uh, this directory contains all the C files and header files so for all the files we will be using in our projects they would be uh, fetched from these directories so they are really uh, important directories and uh, you I recommend uh, you don't need to modify these uh, directories or anything or it will uh, cause compilation errors for example uh, we go to soft device we have the soft devices here uh, though for those guys who don't really know what the soft devices are uh, don't worry I will be explaining them in the later tutorials and uh, we have uh, uh, all the stuff like uh, for boards that I explained in the previous tutorial uh, the boards we the boards header files we, we will be using are already present here so we will be using them in inside our projects and uh, also we have a lot of uh, different stuff and uh, for for example for NFC we have uh, NFC libraries and for NF and F message and we have all the necessary files here so once we get back get out of the components directory we, we can see the other other directories config uh, directory has uh, got some configuration file and it's really necessary let's see if we go to nrf52832 and we go in the config file once we if we open the config file you can see uh, some if and def and define here so these are the constants basically and uh, you change these values to activate some functions or deactivate some of the functions uh, in the project so we will see this later on so uh, these SDK configuration files are really important because uh, 
they play the main role in the configuration of a device. So we will see them later on, but it, uh, the, those configuration files are here, and uh, you can just copy this file to start up your project, but uh, I will show you how to make the new project, how, you, how to start a new project. Some documentation here, it's not uh, really necessary. You, I don't think so you need to look at the documentation for now. And uh, then we have the examples, I will explain them later. Uh, first, let's go into the other directories and see what's inside them. In external, we have uh, some of the external libraries, for example, the free autos. It's uh, uh, for uh, it's the operating system, and uh, if you guys are if you guys don't know what free autos is, maybe you can uh, check it out. Uh, I will be explaining this in the future tutorials, and uh, we have uh, ECC library. It's really important for our future projects so it would be uh, these uh, these are the external libraries that are available in the SDK and uh, we have some external tools CMC's config wizard uh, for guys with the Sagar embedded studio where I will show you how to install this tool uh, so it's easier to configure the file instead of uh, looking at all of these and defines and all the stuff and in the integration we have some glue uh, header files which are which are gluing all of the new nrfx libraries so let's go into the examples folder and see what's here in the examples we can see we have a lot of different examples here for uh, let's see in the, in the ble central we have uh, the bluetooth device as a central device so if you don't really know what a uh, central Bluetooth device is, uh, don't worry, I will be explaining that and uh, in, the, in the later tutorials. And uh, we have uh, central and peripheral and peripheral devices. And uh, also, if you want to see the simple functions like peripherals, we just go inside this one and we have uh, all different... Uh, uh, examples for the peripheral devices, for example, uh, for GPIO, uh, simple GPIO input output, we use the Blinky example, and I will show you how to configure that and uh, how to start of that. And uh, we have a lot of different examples here, so we will be uh, looking at the different examples in the later tutorials. So, right now, how do we create a new project in this? Uh, SDK so we don't need to copy all of these components and all of these additional modules uh, to our project so the answer is simple for that we just go into the examples folder create a new folder here and name it like something like uh, my projects and then uh, the example you want to try. So for example, I, I'm going to go in the peripheral and the blinky. So I'm just going to copy this blinky to my project and then paste it here. And make sure you have the same uh, level of the directory. For example, the peripheral has the blinky. So the, you you can see if we count from here one two and three it's on level three and the blinky is inside level four so if we go to examples we go to my project and uh, we go to blinky it's on the level four it's four directories in total so uh, keep this level in mind and uh, everything's going to work smoothly so to open the segue now we have uh, a new project which is a blinky we go inside the Blinky and uh, to open this project uh, for Sagar Embedded Studio and the device we will be using is uh, NRF52832 so our board is PCA10040 and uh, uh, for now we will go with the blank you don't need to worry about this uh, we will go through this uh, later on so just go into the blank and uh, SES stands for Sagar Embedded Studio so we go into the SES and uh, we open this Sagar Embedded Studio file, project file. So once we open that, 
here is the file and we just go to the build and uh, click on the build and it's going to just build the uh, first program for us so as you can see the license is working now if uh, those guys uh, the previously uh, who activated the license but uh, they are seeing no license is being activated it's because uh, uh, the default project for Sagar Embedded Studio is not for NRF devices so it says it doesn't have any license but uh, when we open something from NRF SDK it automatically uh, knows uh, that it's using NRF device so uh, just activates the license for us so uh, whenever we are using uh, NRF SDK we don't uh, uh, the license automatically works and uh, we can we have no limitations on that and uh, you can just easily develop so guys that's it for today and uh, in the next video tutorial I'm going to show you the basic functions to blink an LED uh, this works very uh, this works fine but uh, I will be uh, showing you from the very beginning how to create your own LEDs and uh, how to blink them and all the stuff so uh, for that uh, please uh, uh, check out the next video thank you